What is happening to the FIFA 22 market? Is the title of this video and a question I'm asking to you right now because I've not got a clue. Gen gen genuinely now, I have not got a clue what EA are doing with this market. Dembele is down 30,000 coins. Kimpembe is down 10,000 coins. Lorente is down 10,000 coins. And this hasn't happened in a few weeks. It's been within the past 24 hours. So in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is talking about the FIFA 22 market crash again, Ooh. and talking about ways how you can make coins, save coins, and how to navigate through this absolute jungle that is the FIFA 22 market. Sorry, one sec. Hello? EA, how are you doing? What's that? You'll give everybody who likes this video 100,000 coins to compensate for the market crash? That's nice of you. What, they have to get 2,000 likes? Just boys, just drop a like on this video if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new, let's just get into this video. <laughs> and if you do wanna go and buy yourself any FIFA 22 coins, make sure to click the link in the description and check out Mule Fracture. Use that code LE5CHEAP at checkout for a spicy little discount. However, the boys, without further ado, let's get into this video. Aish. So boys, as you be able to see in the top left, I'm currently on at 612,546 coins. I think that's why does that not sound right? 612,546. 612. Regardless, I've got some coins, not loads. In addition to that as well, I've gone and invested in loads of different Delotes, uh, I think 10,000 coins. So here, I've probably spent around, probably just shy of 200,000 coins. Honestly, boys, at the minute, I am really, really struggling in this market. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. In the first 10 hours of EA Access, the little trial that we had, right? I managed to make 400,000 coins, right? That's not a flex, like, we have flex, but okay. That's not a flex, it's just sort of going towards what I'm gonna say now. In the past four to five weeks, I have made about 600,000. 10 hours, 400,000. Four weeks, 600,000. It just doesn't add up. Donut. Now, the only reason why I'm even sat anywhere close to 600,000 coins at the minute is because I have consistently stayed liquid. I am, as much as I can do, I am trading with specials, I'm trading with icons, I'm trading with absolutely anything I can do when I'm actually on this game. Just trying to bump my transfer profit up as much as I can do, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you, it looks like that I'm doing okay, but I'm really not, man. Now, I've wanted to be doing this oosh to glory thing for the past few weeks, and I'm going to be completely honest with you boys. This game is making it really, really hard for me to even do an oosh to glory. Just If you don't know what it is, it's basically a series where I go through and trade from scratch. I'm just pulling my hair out at the minute with it, and I'm going to be completely honest with you boys. I don't really see Oosh to Glory coming back. Now, the reason for that is, is because EA are doing everything that they possibly can do at the minute to destroy the market. Now, why has the market dropped at the minute? This rare players pack... Stupid. You're so stupid, you're stupid. What EA have actually done is release something called a 50k preview pack. Now, if you don't know what preview packs are, I don't know where you've been for the past however long. And basically these, right? You can open the pack before you buy it. Now, the implementation of these preview packs has completely ruined trading for me personally. I think with the sheer amount of supply that has come onto the market because of these packs, it has completely tanked the price of loads of different players. Now, if you've lost coins, boys, let me know in the comment section how many that you've lost, or just let me know in the comment section how many coins are you actually on at the minute? Are you, like, what are you doing at the minute? Because I'm pulling my hair out, I'm not gonna lie. So when you've got these preview packs, the opportunity for people to just go and open these preview packs, see what's in them, and then decide what they wanna buy, pretty much increases the supply on the FIFA market by an absolute ton. So if you don't know how this FIFA market works, it's supply and demand, really, really easy, right? When the supply is high and the demand is low, it means the prices come down. They meet each other in the middle. Knowledge. However, when it's the other way around and the supply is low and the demand's high, the price goes up because the two prices need to meet each other. Do you see what I'm saying? If they're the same, they need to meet each other. That's basically how it's been working. So basically what's happened is, is EA have released these stupid preview packs initially with the 7.5Ks and what they did yesterday was release promo packs for 50K. So what's happening is people are opening these, seeing what they're getting them and thinking, ah, that's not too bad. I can sort of make my coins back there or thereabouts. And then what they're doing is they're just burning through all these because it's somehow worth it. And what's happened is everything's dropped in price. Fair enough. So for example, Osman Dembele was around 48,000 coins on Saturday. Now I'm not talking Saturday a week or two ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I'm talking about Saturday just gone, the boys. 20,000 coins now, he's dropped off 28,000 coins on PlayStation. Now what we're actually seeing is that it's not as adverse on Xbox, mainly because the player base is fairly small, but on PlayStation where the player base is fairly big, 
player prices are coming down even more because more people are opening those promo packs. The only things that you can really go and invest in right now as well as anything that's sort of discard price because there's absolutely no way of it going any lower. Now on Friday I went and picked up some Delorts at around 10,000 coins roughly and now he's chilling at around 12,000 coins because people think that there's going to be an Icon SBC coming out tonight. Admittedly I could sell these on and make some profit now. I'm not going to because they can't go any lower so unless you're wanting to do investing around that where the stuff is already dirt cheap you can't really invest in too much long term because again every single day EA throw a curveball and go 50k preview pack 100k preview pack free packs eh 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 like even the top end players like Cristiano Ronaldo is down in price now typically these kind of players this really really top end stuff would hold its value really really well now I'm not even in a position to be buying Ronaldo it would be one player and he got down in price anyway but that sort of gap from like that low market, which is sort of like Kimpembe, Dembele, Marquinhos, Mendy, Varane, whatever it may be. And then this top end stuff, the gap is just ridiculous. When did I ask? The only thing that I would recommend to do in this game in terms of making coins is being in and out every single day by 6 p.m. or whatever time zone that you're in. When content comes, get out of absolutely everything. Make sure that you're fully, fully liquid and then, and only then, after about an hour after 6 p.m. content, then start trading again. Because otherwise, you're just going to lose coins. Now, if you're on a low budget, I completely, completely understand how hard it can be. So I'm going to show you some sort of methods that can sort of just build your coins up the tiniest amount. They're not the best methods in the world. But in this market, I think any profit is good profit. Go over to silver, go over to basic, find yourself a top five league. Then go over here and just find the absolute minimum price of all of those cards from that league. So with Premier League at the minute, the absolute minimum is around 400 coins. So what you need to do is sit here and just snipe for any lower than 400 coins. As easy as that. Once you've used this method a bit, then what I'd also recommend to do is start to make your own filters around silver players. Now we are going to start to get League SBC soon, so it's a good idea to start trying to find these filters now because that means that they're going to be really good to trade with in the future. So say for example, you come over here and you go over to, I don't know, let's just go over to German, Silver, Premier League, Basic. And then what you can do is trade with them individually rather than just going for the silver basics and then you could go over here and pick up ropes for 500 coins flipping for 800 or go over to i don't know go over here and go over to italian basic is there even anyone italians <clears throat> never mind Stop the cap. But regardless, you get what I'm saying. Just trade with silver and try and build your way up initially, and then you can go to the higher budget stuff. For the higher budget stuff, there's loads of different methods that you can use. The one that I'm using mainly at the minute is just the shadow special, and you need to go over and pretty much check all the prices of every single player that you're gonna be using with this. That's the only way to do this. The way that this method works is, Find yourself, say, 10, 15, 20 players, note the prices down on a notepad, or I use a spreadsheet personally, and then just try and trade with them. And then if you use this filter, you can pretty much just sit on this filter all day, every day if you want to, and refresh the market as much as you want to, and then try and pick up some deals. But in terms of finding the filter, it can be hard. This method's confusing. If you want me to do a dedicated video on this, just let me know in the comment section. It, it's probably going to be the tiniest bit different from when I last did a video on it, so just something to bear in mind. But boys, that is where I'm going to be wrapping up this video. A bit more of a ranty video today, but I'm going to be honest with you boys. I just don't know what to do at the minute. Boys, make sure to click here or here to go and watch some more videos or click in the middle of me to subscribe to this channel. But boys, this has been what has happened to the FIFA market. Hopefully this explanation helped out quite a bit. But it's 26. Lewis, and I am off. Oosh. <laughs>